Sometimes we can get stuck. And this machine, this is the Vermeer BC 1000 XL. One is gone, but BC 1000 got stuck in reverse. And doesn't matter what you tried, I wasn't able to put in a forward. And in this video, keep watching, I would like to share with you what I did to get this machine back to normal and forward reverse everything works how it should and uh, yeah if you have any questions leave down the comments below and remember what really destroys any type of equipment is a vibration and this machine has an issue with lots of vibrations a huge drum for chipping the logs and brush and also produces some heat as well not much <coughs> Okay, I pull the console off and first I check the, for the connection to the our smart feed the unit. There's a smart feed, this is a control module and a couple of wires were chewed up. I fixed them and also I pulled the plug because machine works in a severe conditions, so lots of dust outside stays outside there was some corrosion a little bit around the connections i cleaned that put some uh, dielectric grease a little bit and put it back also i checked the power feed and ground to the module which is uh, you can see it's zoomed in Okay, here we go. There's our power and there's the ground. There's inputs and outputs. I check them. Then I started here. That was all good. And uh, then I moved to what controls that feed roller. This is a two ways to engage you, you can read it from the manual with a bar or also this is your hold on reset switch and what was wrong with that switch as the water got in over time and connections and switch itself rusted out and corroded completely this is the return spring so, what's happened just rusted out and failed for a new spring I bought a new switches there's a part number weren't you waited to promote there's a bunch of switches and I already clean everything install new switches put in the box put a new spring and this is just a simple switch, you just push in and it releases when you release. And very simple design, but this switch needs to be in a working condition. If this is faulty, your machine won't engage and you won't have forward. Make sure this switch is clean, no corrosion, no rust and electricity can flow. And I checked the, uh, well, this is all obvious. See, so I cut it and uh, replace it. Okay, switch was replaced. I also checked the switch on another side. There's the same switch for this control. See, for engaging. This one was good, clean, but anyway, I checked that one as well. And then I noticed when switches were replaced, no issue with that. The one of the uh, micro switches for the engaging uh, forward reverse with a bar, one bolt was missing on this one. One bolt was missing and switch was pushed out of this selector 
and I couldn't engage properly and I placed a new bolt and replaced and then I checked the resistance on them and uh, well continuity after all and one switch was <clears throat> on high resistance uh, I think the bottom, yeah, bottom one and I put another one we have another machine and uh, yeah plenty of switches for replacement we sorted out the everything with the micro switches and also uh, I checked the power on the load side and control side and the ground on the relay is a simple relay this is a five pin yeah basic basic got that guy checked make sure we don't have any issues and also guys if you check in for any electrical problems first go and look for contact points where the harness or wire can rub against the sharp metal parts and you can possibly have a open circuit and uh, then this one was was checked and uh, I move it down to the solenoids and uh, I noticed it because it wasn't engaged, it wasn't able to engage in forward means we didn't have a feed to the solenoid and uh, I tested power and ground at the solenoids with my test light and after fixing those issues Everything started to work. It was simple as that. And uh, yep, uh, that's what I went through. And uh, yep, check basics power and ground, fit to the control module, check those switches, make sure they're in good working shape. There's no issues with them. And uh, I won't worry about the sensitivity switch for um, like low control bar. That one wasn't actually the problem. And but I pulled it out as well and uh, sprayed some WD-40 and clean it up. Make sure it won't get any water. And uh, yeah. By the way, talking about the control module it's uh i was told that the sometimes they failed but seems like it wasn't our case and uh i would like to fire it up and show you what we got and uh yeah here's a wiring diagram i can put this diagram in a video and this schematic for the bc 1000 XL Bush chipper service and yeah then uh, let's check the solenoid this is the resistance I got I tried to keep a track of things what I was doing and this is our switches there's a uh, all schematic I think it might be helpful if you need it and uh, yeah let's fire it up and see how it works I need to take everything down. Alright, I assembled the switch with the new components. 